Hey boys and girls, this is Pastor Andy, and we are very, very, and may I say one more time, very excited to be bringing you another rocking chair moment. We're so excited because we get to introduce to you Peter from the Bible. You remember Peter the Rock? Well, if you've never heard of Peter, we're going to learn a little bit about who he is and the stories that he shared, the message, the impact he had for Christ. Oh, he was a very important young man back in the days that he walked on this planet. And he reminds us that we too play a role in spreading the good news of Jesus Christ throughout the world. Well, we've got to go now to bat the sheep. I mean, quesadilla. Now, quesadilla wants to be a superhero. She wants to be bat the sheep and we're going to see her wearing a mask. And we shouldn't be wearing masks because the only hero that we should truly look up to is Jesus. But you know what? There's moments where we just want to pretend like we can fly or we can do some superpower type things. But you know what? There's no greater power than the power of God's love. And that power of love was demonstrated in Jesus Christ. And that same power can be demonstrated through your life as you follow Jesus. So let's follow Quesadilla as she teaches us a little bit more about Peter. And we've got grilled cheese in there listening and he does his best. We, we love grilled cheese, Quesadilla and Mr. Juan. And um, we'll be back with you real soon. Hi, grilled cheese. I mean, hi, grilled cheese. Hi, Quesadilla, is that you? Yeah, it's me. I see you now. You you were hiding behind a mask. Yeah, I was. I was. I was trying to be fat the sheep. Oh, what? Hey, so, so you're trying to be bat the sheep? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, so I had to take it off to cut, and then um, I'll get a little confused, and then if I it falls back on my face, then I might end up having to talk like Batman. I don't want to have to do that. I don't want to have to do that. No, no, no. no. Seems like it could be very confusing for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I get, I get my roles, uh, I get my roles crossed. And right now, I want to be a teacher. Oh, that's Ooh. good. I like it when you're a teacher. I, I get a little scared when I see you be bat the sheep. Oh, oh, thanks, thanks, thanks. Uh, I mean, yeah, you know, sometimes you gotta be scary, but other times when you're teaching, you gotta be nice. You gotta be nice. Yep, yep. Very good. I, I'm gonna be a student. I'll be a student and I will listen to you teach today. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Okay, so what we're gonna do is that we're gonna learn about Peter. You know who Peter was? Uh, I think so. Peter? Um, wh who is Peter? I, remind me of who Peter is again. Okay, okay. So there's two things that we have to remember about Peter. He was number one, a helper. Okay. A helper. And the number two is that he was a teacher. A helper and a teacher. Yeah, yeah. That's in a very simple form. I mean, there, we can say a lot more. Like, he was one of Jesus' disciples. Mm -hmm. And the way that, that happened was that Peter was a fisherman. Have you ever gone fishing? Uh, no. I, I always had trouble with water. I, I get a little seasick. They could put you in a boat. I mean, you could probably reach all the way to the bottom if they put you inside the ocean or something like that. Yeah, they, they, they carried me on a ship to get me away from the island of Madagascar. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> it was, it was. I could be a comedian and a student. <laughs> you can try. <laughs> you can try. I laugh at myself. <laughs> okay, so one day, one day, Peter was out and he was fishing and he was sailing uh, with his fleet and he was catching fish. And as he was throwing out his net, one day Jesus passed by and he said, he said, Hey, Peter, follow me. Just throw the net. And so Peter dropped his net and he said, Okie dokie. And he went to go follow Jesus. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He just dropped his net right he then and there. Everything and he decided to follow Jesus. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sounds like I do that when someone calls me to go eat some leaves. I drop everything to go get dinner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he became one of Jesus. That's how he became Jesus. Why? one of Jesus' disciples. Mm -hmm. Peter then left his home and he began to travel with Jesus into all the towns and villages. Wow. And he was there 
and he was in the the villages, the homes, the synagogues, the mountains, the seaside. And Peter heard, Peter heard Jesus, and he heard how he told him the good news and how Jesus taught that God sent Jesus to help people. So just like Jesus was a helper to people, Peter was also a helper. So Peter saw Jesus heal sick people as well. And he heard him tell people about God. Mm. So Peter listened and he learned from Jesus. Yep, yep. Do so, you need that? So a lot happened after he dropped the nets and followed Jesus. Yeah, a lot, a lot happened. A lot happened. But he actually ended up getting a better job because, well, is there a better job? Mm. I don't know. I asked this one. But he left from all the stinky fish and from getting all the stinky fish. And he ended up becoming a teacher. And a disciple of Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> wow. He had a different role when he started following Jesus, sounds like. Yeah, he did. He did. He did. Peter loved Jesus. And he knew that Jesus was the Messiah and, the, and God's son. After Jesus went back to heaven, Peter became a preacher. So mm. a teacher as well. Preacher and teacher. <laughs> oh, yeah. And Peter wanted people to know about Jesus and the amazing things that he, he had done. Peter wanted people to remember important things about Jesus. Everything that Jesus taught, he wanted to share with the people. Peter wanted people to love Jesus and be happy and look forward to being with Jesus forever. Yep, yep. Can you believe that? that, that he he sounded like he really knew what he was doing. Once. He did. He really did. He really did. And Peter went to many places and helped people know about Jesus and why God sent Jesus and Peter wrote letters to people to remind him to remind them that that they to remind them of Jesus love and to live like Jesus but that's for next week that's for next week next week we're gonna learn about what what Peter actually wrote in his letters to the people that he loved I bet he was very encouraging to them yeah yeah he was he was, he was encouraging all the way now I mean Peter did have a moment when he made a big mistake. Yeah. Mm. He made a mistake. Okay. Well, 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 that we all make mistakes, I guess. He did make a mistake, and there was a point in time when he denied Jesus. Oh. <gasps> yeah. Denied Jesus. Denied oh. Jesus. Not once, not twice, but three times. That's three times too many, if you ask me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, that was right when, when Jesus was about to die on the cross. Oh, that was a tough time. I imagine Peter was under a lot of pressure during that time. He was. He got scared, and he did deny him. But when Jesus rose again from the dead, he met with Peter, and Peter, Peter decided to go back to be a fisherman. Mm -hmm. But Jesus found him on the shore, and he said, Hey, Peter! <laughs> and he found out that it was Jesus. As soon as, it, as he heard that voice, he knew that it was Jesus. And he knew that Jesus knew that way he had done something bad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, one of the more famous things that Jesus told Peter was, uh, you want to guess? Um, eat more tacos? Close. Oh, man. But feed my sheep. Oh, I knew it was something about food. Yeah, sheep can eat tacos. So, so I guess I guess you can I guess you can. So he told him that once, not twice, but three times. After asking him if, if after Jesus asked Peter if he loved him, and Peter said yes, and so Jesus said to him, "Then feed my sheep, feed my sheep." I bet Peter felt pretty special knowing that he let Jesus down, but Jesus came and forgave him and and helped him to kind of get his job back. Yeah, he did, he did. So he was restored and he still became a helper and a teacher. So next week, we'll cover what he actually taught. Okay? Right. Thank you, so. KCD. I mean, bat the sheep. Oh, <laughs> thank you, thank you. I'll put my mask back on. Okay, bye! Bye, bye. children! Bye. Thank you! Hey, boys and girls, aren't we glad that Goose Creek is safe and sound because we have bat the sheep protecting us and I think Quesadilla would admit that she's a better teacher than maybe a superhero 
but I let her wear that mask whenever she wants to. But in life, we shouldn't wear masks. We should be real because God loves us just the way He created us to be. And He wants to be the hero of the story. He wants to be the hero of your story. He was definitely the hero of Peter's story. And let me briefly um, review with you a little bit about Peter's life. You see, Peter was a fisherman. And he was one who followed Jesus and helped others to do the same. Peter knew that Jesus was God's son. Peter walked on water with the help of Jesus. But then Peter made a mistake. But Jesus loved him anyways and forgave him. Peter kept following Jesus and helped others to do the same and shared the gospel with everyone he came in contact with. The Holy Spirit came and Peter continued to share the good news. And Jesus, the story of Jesus spread throughout the lands. Many became followers of Jesus and they continue to follow Jesus today. Peter is a very important part of the story and you are too. But everything needs to point to Jesus because Jesus is the author and finisher of our faith. He is the hero of the story. But we get introduced to people like Peter along the way and how God would use Peter's life to make a difference when he walked on this planet. And you know who gets to make a difference today? You do. That's right. God can use you just as he used Peter to make a difference. And the best way we can make a difference in others' lives is to share the love of Jesus, the good news, the gospel with our friends. Go out and be a difference for the glory of Jesus. Let me pray for us. Father God, today we may fish because we enjoy fishing. But back in the day of Peter, they fished because it was the way that they earned a living. But Father, when you called him, he dropped the nets immediately and began to follow you. I hope that we would be willing to drop whatever we're doing when you call us to serve you and to make a difference in this world. Thank you, Lord, that people continue to follow you. I pray that every one of our boys and girls have made a decision to follow you too. I thank you, Lord, for teachers. I thank you for helpers. I thank you for those who love you and want to make a difference in this world. I know these boys and girls can make a difference and I pray that they would begin to believe in you and truly realize how much you believe in them. We love you and we thank you for loving us first. In Jesus' precious name I pray. Amen. Well next week boys and girls we get to hear more about the story Peter shares. Until then have a blessed day.